All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another first play on launch day. This is a what truly looks to be an epic masterpiece. Uh, I mean, even the name alone, Parallel Catastrophes Chronicles. Um, what in the fuck kind of name is that? Parallel Catastrophes Chronicles. You know what this is, guys? This name of this game alone is some kid trying to sound smarter or more important than he actually is. And you know what this game is, guys? This is another Game Guru game. A quickly mashed together pile of shit of Game Guru, default Game Guru assets included in the Game Guru package or Game Guru DLC uh, packages that we've seen on sale uh, on, you know, keep selling websites. You can get the whole fucking caboodle. $280 worth of Game Guru shit for $4.99. I've seen it time and time and time again. This is a complete mess of a game development kit. Um, and too many, I feel like, young developers try to use this to put out their first game. And they put it up on Steam for like $0.99 cents or $1.99. And it doesn't sell worth a damn. But I want to go ahead and show you guys this because I haven't played it yet. Uh, I think I've seen this a couple weeks ago. I saw that it was coming out. But it says this video game is a first person shooter that will take you through the wild thrill between two parallel dimensions as you try and find your way back to the city of parallel. Oh my god. So February 29th was the release date and it is actually March 1st right now. So I guess this came out late last night. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I want you to take a look at this. Parallel Catastrophes Chronicles, a game guru mashed together a shit for $29.99 in America with a 15% discount, knocking it all the way down to just $25.49. Wow. What a steal, huh? Now, I did request this, you know, key from the developer on Keymailer, but... You know, he probably took one light, you know, he probably took one look at my <laughs> YouTube and said, oh, no way in hell am I giving this to Zaxter99. Well, there's more than one way to get a Game Guru game that a developer is afraid to give you guys. That is to just purchase it yourself, play the pile of shit, and then refund it. Because you guys, my viewers, deserve to know what exactly is up with Parallel Catastrophes Chronicles, especially before you spend 30 fucking dollars. Am I right? I can't get over the price for this game. Like, if we look at this, this is this developer's first game on Steam. And, um, you know, I, I just wonder, like, what the hell is this guy thinking to be trying to ask $30? I mean, remember, the regular price is $30 US, guys. $30 this guy wants for this game. Um, has he not ever seen any other indie games on Steam? Does he not know that typically... Game Guru mashed together like this are, you know, maybe 99 cents, maybe $1.99, but never $30. Not unless you freaking lost your goddamn mind. I'm just saying. Anyway, guys, we'll be back to take a look and see how amazing this epic default asset Game Guru masterpiece is right after this. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. So let's go ahead and play this masterpiece right now. I'm sure this will make a Zaxxers any gold for sure. Who knows? Maybe it'll surprise me. I did have a Game Guru game surprise me about a month ago, guys, back in early February. I did play one that I actually gave a high score to. I believe I gave it, gave it an 8 out of 10. But uh, I don't see that happening here. Copyright 2019, Stephen Wanzer. All right, I can hardly wait. <laughs> oh god oh no so we have the, the same default starting screen here guys we got all these copyright concerns and other concerns you can send him an email uh, may contain content not suitable for anyone under 13 I do wonder if the developer is over 13 right now I'm just saying and we have what looks like an amazing is that a flower? 
<laughs> I suppose that's supposed to be a fire behind this gate. And, um, yeah. I mean, hey, at least we have a picture here. I've seen Game Guru games. They just have a default, like, blank screen. So, um, about page usually on these games has nothing. Oh, but this one does have uh, a <clears throat> write-up here. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, and you will. Okay, you're leaving out some commas here. Your mission... <clears throat> you should have a comma here to the developer. Your mission, comma, if you choose to accept it, comma, and you will, oh my god, if you ever want to see anything resembling freedom again, the small mining operation in parallel has been taken over by a terror cell. What the hell? I'm wondering if this developer is just trying to be a poet here. The, the small mining operation in parallel has been taken over by a terror cell. So you're trying to rhyme terror cell with parallel? I don't get it because being taken over by a terror cell doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, your mission is to take the town back and stop them before anything else happens. Okay, that's at least a, a decent enough, you know, written sentence. You will be dropped on the top of a mountain by parachute to avoid detection, okay? When you get to the bottom of the mountain, you should have a comma there, you'll come across a lake Okay, yeah, this is poorly written grammar again. You'll come across a lake, comma, straight ahead is the main mine shaft. The mine shaft is just as good a place as any to start. Oh my god, comma, but you might need to find a key to get in. The terror cell has uh, set up a camp in the area. If you could find the camp, you could probably find the key. This is terrible grammar, by the way, guys. This looks like it was written by about a 13-year-old kid. Uh, especially if he's from America. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. Thirty dollars you paid for this. Aren't you guys feeling the the definite? Look at these. Look at this stretched out terrain here. See in the background. Look at the mountains. All that is is default game guru. Uh, you know, land ga default game guru uh, texture uh, map, and he's just pulled it up. He's just stretched it up into the mountains. Looks absolutely terrible. Yeah, see? See how he just grabs this and just and just pulls it up. It's just the it's just the ground, guys. It's just a default ground texture. And we have a guy over here standing behind us. Okay. <clears throat> and I know that if we get hit, we're gonna have that same um terrible fucking heartbeat that's loud as shit and annoying as shit. Okay. Go ahead and see if we can take this guy out. Nope, I guess not. I know, I know better than to go for a headshot because these uh, maybe it's too far away. Right. Boy, I'm feeling this, guys. This feels truly amazing. All right, so we start down here in a hole, and this guy's up here pointing. He doesn't know where I'm at. Look at him. He's confused. This is standard default Game Guru AI. Look at him. <laughs> oh, God. This is too funny. Okay, who shot us before is what I want to know. Was that him? Because I don't see anybody else around here. All right. My goal, guys, is to kill this bastard. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't want to fall down in that fucking canyon right now, I don't think. See if we could get up here and kill. Yep, that was him. That was him that killed us. All right. Well, at least the game guru AI did something smart there. Damn. All right. Well, for what it's worth, I've already died twice to game guru AI. My goal is to kill this bastard. That's my whole goal in this game. Get it, we get out. Yeah, I just don't think I'm close enough to hit him. Hmm. I feel like the only chance I'm gonna have is up here on this hill where I was, and he got me before right there. He probably, he probably, like most Game Guru games, you don't even need to kill any of these enemies, guys. If you can find out where to go. 
Um, we know in all these Game Guru games, if you just know where to go, you can usually beat these games in like a minute. I feel like the, uh, I feel like the, uh, enemies do way too much damage in this game. And then they give me a, a pistol that doesn't have enough range to hit that guy, but he can blow me apart in like three shots. All right, guys. Oops. Shooting the moon. Which is right there, by the way, guys. There we go. Let's do this. Now, I have turned the game sounds down. We don't want to fight this guy again. Nope, 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 nope. Let's go down. There's no path or anything, guys. It's just a bunch of fucking mountain hills here. Unless this is a path down here. Yeah, it's not water, so that's good, I guess. I'm crouching, so maybe I don't take ball damage here. Alright, this is as good a path as any, right? Go away from that guy that wants to shoot us in the head. And... Alright. Nice uh, mountains there, buddy. Looks really, really realistic. <laughs> Aha! So there we go. There is... Looks like where we need to go, and... Up, oh, yep. There's an enemy up there. And we need to be going up that slope there. Okay, I can see where we need to go now. The question is, can we get down? Oh god. Alright, let's go ahead and crouch so maybe we won't take fall damage again. Uh, no, not that way. Let's try our hands going this way, guys, shall we? Alright. Oh, shit. Hopefully we don't start getting somebody shoot at us while we're up here trying to just make our way down the mountain, you know? You got, I feel like you got to crouch on these slopes in these Game Gear games or you're going to take way too much fall damage. And if you crouch, you'll take like very little fall damage, if, if any at all. As long as you pick a slope. I mean, that's a super steep slope we came down, but we didn't take any fall damage. Okay, so we got a guy right there. Mm -hmm. We got three lives. We got to do this. We're trying to get over to, I think the slope that we're going up is over there. Yep, of course there's a guy there. I'm thinking maybe we should take this middle. You know that if we go in this water, it's going to kill us. Oh, it's a shadow, okay. Get over here behind this tree maybe so this guy can't hit us. Maybe. And then let's try to take this idiot out. How can I not hit him from this distance? Good grief. I got him, finally. That guy didn't even notice. Because he's an idiot. Or he's blind, one of the two. Okay, hoping this guy had a gun. Where'd he fall? Where'd this guy go? In the water? There's his gun, yep. Hope I don't slide in the water here. Because that'll be instant death, I'm sure. Okay, cool. Ooh! We got a uh, sniper rifle. Nice. All right. Game can't be this hard, guys. And this is just a a light. Cause it's, yeah, I mean, why not, right? Go for a headshot here, shall we? Okay, just peering off into the distance. Nice shot, Zax. All right. So see, this game guru enemy AI can be beaten. You just got to go for the headshots. You got to take your time. Some of these games. Now, when they're zombies and they don't have guns, you can just run right by them usually. But that's not going to happen in this game. Headshot. There we go. Open one of these guys has a... Uh, has more ammo? Because I could use some more ammo here, I'm just saying.
Get some ammo for me, bud. Fuck no. That guy didn't even have a gun or what? I don't have a gun either, it don't look like. Oh yeah, I did. He dropped again. Okay, there's the slope we need to go for. Alright, cool. Does this guy have the gun we need? Because we I want some more of this uh sniper ammo. This guy might have a sniper. No, that looks like an Uzi. Hoping he had I think he had an Uzi, not a sniper. He dropped nothing? Are you serious? He had a gun in his hands. I could have swore that. Damn it. Well, before I go that slope, I was hoping I could get some more sniper ammo, but... Because we know there's going to be something on the slope up here. Those are just lights. Take our Uzi, I guess. Or no. Get it. No, not that one. Uh, do we have another one? Hmm. Oh, I picked up another gun. There he, there he comes. Yeah, super, super smart AI, Ben. <laughs> hey, your gun, man! Give me your gun, you bitch! There we go. All right, I got 20 health left. I need some healing, man. God damn it! Ooh, look at that healing. Will it heal us? Can we get healing over here? Better not be in somebody in here. Oh no, there's not. Yeah, healing. Oh, and then we get some some ammo there too. How do I get over there? I can't jump. What the hell? All right, let's try this. Crouching? No, nope, let's crouch and jump over here. There we go. I'm telling you, crouching is the key in these Game Guru games. All right. Well, now what, guys? need to go down it looks like oh god that is a steep drop off there yeah I think I'm gonna take even crouching I think I'm gonna take a lot of damage there fuck man oh here we go And then let me guess, the slope comes right down here to a uh, super steep drop off? No. Cool. Ah. We're right there. Are you serious? Still didn't get him. Right. Sure. How do I have a hundred and thirty health? You son of a bitch. Taking 27 shots. Okay, there's some ammo. How's that? Cold oh, drinks! That's good. Alright. What are we looking for here, guys? What the hell is that? 
Ooh, it's probably a trap. Could that be the, uh, could that be the exit to the map? The guy over there, I see. There's a guy right there by it, too. Right. Ten health. That's great. Well, I hope that's some health over there. Oh, it's a key. Okay. I don't think that guy is. I don't think there's anything over there. No, you. No reason fighting that guy. Ten health, huh? So we got a key. We probably got a key to the last gate, to the exit gate of this whole map. Whole fucking game. Or at least to the next level. That fucking heartbeat, man, is so annoying. Right, because I only had 10 health left, so. Of course. Alright, guys, I've already died. It sends me way back here. It doesn't have any kind of save point or anything like that. Pick up what? Pick up dagger? There's nothing on the ground here. But you just come across it, it says pick up a dagger. But you can't see anything because the guy, the developer, just put this item under the ground or something. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, so now we got a dagger. Oh my god. So lame. Like a dagger is going to do a lot of good with guys that can auto-aim shoot you from a mile away. Oh boy. Let's go back down the same way we came up. I mean, the same way we went down before. You're just going to get killed trying to use this dagger. I don't think you're going to be able to sneak up on some motherfucker. Okay, so the cool thing is, it looks like the guys that were here before, they... They're still dead. Okay. Well, maybe we have a shot now if we can just run back to where we were before. There's a guy up there. Okay. Um. You can see that guy. That's a gate. Maybe that's what we need to keep for. Got him. Okay, we're back at the same... Nope. Is he stuck? He can't get up? This is funny. Oh my god. This is so funny. He's glitching out fucking enemies. Of course he hit me. He couldn't get up then all of a sudden he did. We're here. Ooh. I wonder if there's some health or something over here. Hmm. Before I leave this place, I'm going to use the last of the dynamite that we used to start this mine, to end this mine once and for all. 
these terrorist fucks won't get their hands on any more gold. Wow, so you're gonna blow it all up, huh? Great. Okay. Wanna give me some health now, game? I wonder if we still get that key we found on our last life. I ain't got no fucking ammo. Of course they can't give me no ammo. Uh-oh, he's coming now. He mad. That's it. Well, I was going to try to get his gun, but, uh, yeah. Guys, this is another just terrible Game Guru game. I mean, granted, it because there's enemies that have guns, I guess it's a little bit more challenging than a lot of Game Guru games, but it's still just terribly designed map, terribly designed everything, a terrible grammar. Uh, it's a lazy game made with a Game Guru engine made out of default enemies, assets, trees, buildings, etc. And uh, I don't know how much time this developer put into this game, but he would have been better off, in my opinion, putting whatever time he put into this game into making a game in a real engine. Um, Unreal, you know, Construct, Unity, something like that. Uh, it's so hard. Why use an inferior engine to, to make a game? So the fact that this developer is actually asking $30 for this game is like a slap in the face. It's laughably um, laughably bad and laughably overpriced. Uh, it makes you wonder if this developer... Uh, it makes you wonder if he's gone absolutely insane. Like I said, has he not has he not studied Steam? Has he not seen that most Game Gear games go for a dollar or two? And then he puts this pile of shit up on Steam for... $29.99 regular price. Uh, absolutely insane. Uh, this game, guys, gets uh, value. What do you think I'm going to give this game for a value? $30. Uh, you'd be lucky to even get an hour of gameplay out of this. Zero. Uh, how much fun is the game? I did, I, I can confess, I had, did have a little bit of fun trying to sneak around and not get shot, but the enemies are too strong. They, I think they hit their auto-aim is what makes them too strong. And the fact that he makes them run about 70 miles an hour uh, makes it also really hard to sneak by him or anything like that once you're spotted. But I'll give this game a 5 out of 30 for fun. Next criteria is controls and bugs. Uh, like all Game Guru games, the bugs are absolutely insane. The fall damage is ridiculous. The beating heart is what I would call a bug. You shouldn't have a heart beating you know, loud as hell when you have 90% health. Uh, the the erratic movement of the develop of the developers of the uh, enemies, the erratic movement of everything, the not being able to see the knife on top of the snow when I could pick it up, just all that kind of stuff is super buggy, uh, and it's not uncommon to Game Guru made games. Uh, controls and bugs because you can move around because you can shoot. I'll give it a five out of twenty. The next criteria is graphics and sound. Will help. How much credit am I going to give this developer for sounds? There's no music or anything in the game. It's just basic default sounds that you get with any Game Guru game that you play. Uh, and it's basic, terrible texture, default assets included in this game, as you can look by at the fire uh, in the uh, main screen here. It just looks absolutely terrible. No, 
uh, I'll give it a 3 out of 10 because it does look that bad. So you add that all up, guys. I said just zero for value because at thirty dollars, I rec highly recommend this developer. He prices this game at ninety nine cents. He might sell a few copies. You'd be better off selling fifty copies at ninety nine cents than no copies at thirty dollars. You know, just think about that to the developer. Uh, maybe you'll sell fifty or hundred copies over the next year if you price it at ninety nine cents. But you're not going to sell any copies at thirty dollars. And any copies that you do sell, just like my copy here, will be instantly refunded. So just think about that. Um, but I said zero for value. I said five for fun. I said uh, five for controls and bugs and three for graphics and sound. Gives this game a 13%. Parallel Catastrophe Chronicles makes miss number 96, guys. And let's be honest, guys. This game deserves to be a miss video just because this developer is charging $30 for a goddamn game viewer game. I mean, what more needs to be said? Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Be sure you comment down below. What do you guys think of this Game Guru game priced at $29.99 regular price? We'll see you in the next video, everybody. Take care.